but still we knew how to act professionally and we were you know we acted like we'd been there before yeah. and we were we were pretty blown away by you know those first bunch of cards kind of seeing the inner workings and how these promoters were working and We knew the sport, we could fight, but we had no idea the business worked. Right, right. So actually, that's that's interesting. So that it gives you unique a unique perspective in that you didn't have any guidance for someone within the sport. So what was the biggest surprise coming into the sport of boxing that on the business side of it that just kind of blew you away? There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. There. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Um, I guess initially it was just like. Uh, I mean, I because I, I I started at the lowest rung, so right. I dealt with like the lowest of the low promoters. Like I had I had my my purses purse checks bounce, you know, multiple times, you know. So like I, I couldn't be, I couldn't believe how poorly run, you know, some of these shows were because um, right. I haven't going to shows for a long time, and I always wanted to be on these fights and fight these guys. But then I saw the inner workings once I was fighting, and. I think my team and I, we brought a certain level of, of professionalism and class to even even the lowest rung. Because you know, I was a world champion kickboxer. We fought on on big stages and big fights in kickboxing. You know, we're near what boxing is like, but still, we knew how to act professionally, and we were, you know, we acted like we'd been there before. Yeah. And we were we were pretty blown away by you know those first bunch of cards, kind of seeing the inner workings and how these promoters were working and. Um, just the handoffs and the way the ticket sales went and everything. So that was that was the first kind of really big surprise was that kind of that that kind of uh, shady business and yeah, it's uh, unfortunate that yeah. that's a lot of fighters' first experience in the sport is that disorganized uh, lower tier promoters that are just looking to line their pockets and mm -hmm. and put these cards together as many as they can and 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 get these matchups with with fighters that um, you know that are essentially paying for it because they're selling their tickets or you know, it's 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 disappointing to know that that's the feeder system um because essentially that's what it is it's an unofficial farm system for the larger promoters because you know that all those matchmakers that's what they're doing is they're looking at these they're looking at these fighters that are coming they're looking for talent as well as they're looking for opponents and that's a side of it are you are you an opponent are you talent? You know, what's what and they don't always tell you in fighters because they're I mean, think back to being 20, 21 years old, your your ego is in it all just all that testosterone's going. You think you in order to get in the ring, you have to have that mentality, right? You have to have that the, the machismo. Um at the same time, you've got all these guys, these older men who know how the sport works, knows how the business works, knows how to take advantage. So that's a that education what we're doing here is trying to educate these fighters that look there's a lot of men out there that do not behave with the same ethics as you would like them to behave <laughs> and so because of that you have to be able to i love that saying protect yourself at all times with outside mm -hmm. you have to um and i think it's great that you had a team that didn't know anything about the sport and still, because of your professionalism on on the kickboxing side, we're able to navigate the the lower tiers of the sport successfully without all of the. I mean, having checks bounce, but at the same time, it's it, you you were able to avoid a lot of the pitfalls that, that a lot of the fighters get into, where they get stuck with managers, um, and and just people that don't have their best interests at heart. So 